Hello and welcome to Encrypto new episode. In this video, we will explain optimistic and ZK rule-ups. If you're interested in being the first person to find out when we publish a new video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. There are two different types of rule-ups, optimistic and ZK rule-ups. Rule-up solutions differ in their approach to data validation, namely how they prove to the underlying network. Ethereum, for example, that the competition performed is is in fact valid. Rule-ups are considered one of the safest solutions for scaling Ethereum. This technology increases Ethereum throughput up to 4800 TPS or 85 times. To make this happen, rule-ups enable third parties commonly referred to as sequencer to take calculations to layer 2, shape transactions into batches and publish them back to the network. Each batch consists of the data state of the previous batch, the transactions in a highly compressed form, and the updated data state. After processing the transactions, these data states are called pre-state routes and host state routes. You can learn more about the rule-ups architecture and how they deliver data compression in our introductory video on rule-ups. But how do sequencers prove to Ethereum that post-states roots of each batch are valid? The answer to these questions illustrates the main difference between optimistic and ZK rule-ups. ZK rule-ups use what is called validated proof. They provide immediate proof to Ethereum that the batches of the transactions are correct. To do this, ZK rule-ups use the concept of ZK snark, a mathematically complex cryptographic proof that all the computations in a batch correspond to the post state route. Optimistic rule-ups use the opposite logic, a sort of presumption of innocence, and use the concept of fraud proofs, which means that initially they assume that all the batches they send to the network are valid, hence the name optimistic. And while the ZK rule-ups rely on cryptographic proof, optimistic rule-ups use verifiers to monitor batches coming on chain and check if they are valid. To be able to submit a batch batch, a sequencer must put down a large deposit. If that sequencer ever submits a fraudulent batch, that deposit will be partly burned and partly given as a reward to the fraud prover. Anytime a sequencer publishes a batch, there is a dispute period. When any party can present a fraud proof that indicates that the batch is invalid and should be reverted. How does this all affect the practical application of ZK and optimistic rule-ups? The data verification model determines the amount of time it takes to withdraw assets from rule-ups back to Ethereum and the compatibility of rule-ups networks with Ethereum virtual machine, which allows developers to easily migrate their applications from the Ethereum to rule-up solution. The ZK snark proof can be verified by the main network very quickly. That's why if you try to withdraw your fans from a ZK rule-up, it will be processed right away, while it will take an optimistic rule-up about a week or even two, because the network participants must be given time to verify the transaction batches. Because of the mathematical complexity, ZK rule-ups are not easy to build an application on let alone make it compatible with Ethereum virtual machine. Optimistic rule-ups, on the other hand, easily allow developers to migrate their applications from layer 1 to rule-up almost seamlessly. While serving the same purpose, different types of rule-ups are good for different protocols. Optimistic rule-ups are good for general purpose EVM computation, while ZK rule-ups are good suitable for simple payments or exchanges. However, assuming that the architecture of ZK rule-ups will be refined in the future, they are the ones most likely to gain advantage in the long run. If you want to learn more about the other ways to scale Ethereum and how blockchains are dealing with this problem, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our new videos.